okay hello everybody welcome back to learn graphic design with g2k designs today we are going to be talking about how to create um a logo a logo design okay from your sketch like this to this okay using adobe illustrator okay so let's get right into it so i've already opened my um illustrator okay so this is um uh, my artboard okay my workspace so if you are new to illustrator and you want to open um workspace like this just go to file new okay this and i think this is fine I use inches five five resolution of five create and you are good to go so that's how to create a workspace using illustrator so i'll just go ahead and cancel that so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i will move the uh i used my i used my phone to take the picture and then send it to my system okay so just click and drag it into illustrator like this okay so the next thing i'll do is to reduce the opacity to around 50 okay okay the next thing i will do select this go to layer here and then click on this empty space here so that you will lock it so that you cannot carry it around if i unlock it you see i can carry it around and i don't want that okay i don't want it to get in the way when we are working with this so the next thing we are going to do is to start to build this logo using adobe illustrator so the two we will be using first first of all i would like to put in the grid lines so for me to print the grid lines i'll just go to view show grid line okay so this is the grid line in adobe illustrator okay so the next thing i'll be doing is i'll select the line two okay this is the line two here select the line two. if it is not selected you can right click and make sure you select the line segment two here okay so the next thing i'm gonna do is to follow the line on the sketch okay i'll click hold and drag okay just to form the line like this okay so i can increase this a little bit more make it go higher so i think this is cool okay so i think this is fine so what we're gonna do next is select the line go to edit click on copy go back to edit and click on paste in place okay so what you will do is um, i'm zooming in okay i'm zooming in with alternate key and the scroll button if you use adobe uh, photoshop they have similar shortcuts okay so uh, do not all but they are similar so i'll just click this hold down on my shift and move like this okay i think i'm okay with this i think i'm with this so i highlight the two lines go back to edit copy go back to edit paste in place okay so i click okay hold down on my shift on my and then move so the next thing i'm gonna do is i want this to be in the opposite direction okay so i'll go to object go to transform and then click on reflect okay so it has reflected it okay it now has exactly the opposite uh, of this first one i did here just click on ok and we are good to go so you zoom in click hold down on your shift and move okay i think this is fine it doesn't really matter if you must not cover here just make sure that the space between this line and this line and the space between this line and this line are exactly the same okay that is what we give it um that is what is going to make everything to have the same weight okay so now that we've done this so the next thing that i'll be doing okay is to select this okay go back to edit copy edit paste in place okay so i'll just carry this out okay and then from here okay i'll turn it like this so this is why i uh, activated the grid line okay so that i will make sure that this is in a straight line okay i'll have to hold this this is the line here this is the grid lines here okay that will that is what is going to help you to make sure that it's in a straight line Okay. this is pretty pretty much not in line so just adjust okay 
make sure that it's in a straight line okay and then here put it there and so that we cover okay so let's zoom in okay bring it down a little bring it down a little okay so i think this is in a straight line okay so um the next thing we'll be doing is i'll copy this okay go to edit copy go back to edit paste in place i'll be doing this a lot okay so i click on this hold down on my sheet and drag it up okay to cover these parts i go back to edit copy go back to edit paste in place you come here click hold down on your sheets take it up to cover here okay i go also back to edit copy edit paste in place okay click this and hold it up and cover here okay now i think this is cool we are good to go so the next thing i'll be doing watch this is the space between here and here should be exactly the space between here and here i've not created that yet so how to do that i will just select these two okay and i will go to edit copy edit paste in place you click hold down on your shift and drag it down until it meets this one here you leave it click outside there are already two lines here just click on one and delete so the that other one is there so you notice the space between this and this and this and this are okay okay so now the next thing i'll do let me go ahead and hide my grid line okay i think i'm done with it so so it is good to go like this so so now that this is done so the next thing we'll be doing okay is to form the hand okay so click here okay draw your circle okay so what i normally do is to make sure that it's kind of funny though to make sure that the circle is actually at the center i do this okay make sure that this is okay here like this okay and make sure that the circle is touching these two lines like this and then i'll hold down on my sheet and alternate and click and drag in that way i believe the space between this place and this place are the same okay so i click it and go back down Okay, so I can actually still increase it. Okay, take it up. So the next thing I will do is go to edit, copy, edit, paste in place. Okay, so here, hold down on my shift and alternate again and drag it down. Okay, like this. Okay, so I think this is pretty much okay for the handle okay so for me to form this circle here the opening here i also um make another circle okay yeah i zoomed in another circle here make sure that the lines cover very well like this i think this is cool i go to edit copy go back to edit paste in place click hold down on your shift and move so that it will maintain the same alignment okay i think um this is this okay make sure that this line is joining perfectly well okay so uh, let me move it a little bit more i think this is fine so i'm zooming out alternate and the scroll button on your mouse the next thing i'll be doing now is to build this logo Okay, so for me to do that, I will highlight everything here. Okay, I will highlight everything here. Okay, and I'll go to the Shape Builder tool here. Click on it. We have this, so go here. Click here to fill in the, the color. Make sure it's black. Okay, later you can go ahead and change the color you want it to be. Okay, come here and then 
remove the stroke color so what we'll be doing is i'm going to be taking this one after the other because at the end of this tutorial i'm still going to show you how to turn these lines into dotted lines okay so for me to do that i'll just have to click on the segments one after the other okay to cover to build in the, the shape okay one after the other okay cover here 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 and here okay i think we are done okay so the next thing i'll be doing is i will drop these two okay and then i'll go to edit copy go back to edit paste in place so the reason i'm doing this is that at the end of the day we know we graphic designers who, who like our presentation so i'm i'm keeping this copy because this copy is what i'll be turning into logo idea and the logo grid okay so this is what i'm going to be turning into uh, the dotted lines okay so i'll have to group it i'll right click group it has grouped so here i will have to hide it now that we have our logo let's just go ahead and delete this x lines okay i don't think we need it i don't think we need it anymore okay i don't think we need it okay Just select like this and then I think it's oh boy oh, I forgot to fill in this place okay let's just go back ctrl Z as many times as possible okay let's go back and fill it okay I think let's take this again sorry about that okay it happens okay it really happens okay we are we, we can forget one or two things but just make sure that you you, you you realize it and go back and fill it back so here fill here okay so we are filling it back in again okay okay so i think we are done now okay so like i said before go to edit copy edit paste in place right click you group and then you hide it okay so let's go ahead drop this and then delete the excess lines Okay. okay this just selects it and delete okay highlight like this and we delete okay so now that we have this you notice that each of these uh, I can take this out because I did it segment by segment okay so the best thing for me to do is for me to cover it all I will hide, highlight again go back to my shape builder tool okay and then cover it all cover the lines just to join these lines together i don't want to be seeing this blue line so you drag it and make sure you you cover it up okay like this so let me zoom in like this cover it up like this so i think this is okay so go here remove the stroke click on this one also remove the stroke click on this one remove the stroke okay so you see that they are now individual okay so you can go ahead and change the color of this one to whatever you want it to be i want it to be depending on the company color and all that it can be blue okay you can change this one to uh anything at all okay just depending on the color you are working with okay so that's basically it so if you look here you will see that this i'm still having some black excess lines here so i'll just go ahead and select this move it out select this and then delete select this all back and take it back okay like this so that is how you i'm going to change the the, uh, the color back to black so that is how you create a logo using Adobe Illustrator using the uh, the grid lines. Okay, so maybe next time we'll talk about how to create a logo using the golden ratio. Okay, okay. So now that we are done with this, so let's now let me group this and then hide it. 
so now let's now go into how to change this okay into the dotted lines okay so now what we're gonna do is here okay I will select it and you know we grouped it before okay so I ungroup okay so now it is now on its own so I will prefer to choose a color that is a darker shade of black okay so I always like to use the third one here okay so that's what I like to use so that's what I'm going to do all through I'm going to use that color all through that's what I'll be doing so I'll just have to select all the parts for me to select all the parts select this one click and hold down on my shift okay select everywhere make sure everywhere is selected so that it will be easier for me to just um, select one color go to fill and then select the color okay so we have we have this okay so now let me go ahead and hide this one okay so that you can see it clearly so now we have this okay now so for me to make this a dotted line i already have it here stroke okay so but if you don't have it on your own you go back you go to window and make sure that stroke you click on this okay once you click on it it will open like this so for you to create a dotted line i already have it here okay but if you don't have it go to window and click on stroke it will come out okay so you click let me drop this so you click on the line and make sure that you check this dash okay the gap let me zoom in the gap is zero so that is why you won't really see so i think you can uh increase the gap to three the dash is three okay okay so okay so all you need to do is just to highlight the other ones check the dash see it's automatically it will fill in this settings you already put here okay so you do that to the rest of you do that to the rest of them Okay, so now we are done okay so this is how you create okay I can highlight everything shift it here so this is how you create a dotted line okay using Adobe Illustrator okay so this is how you create your logo so let me put this up here using Adobe Illustrator my logo this is how you can achieve this okay using Adobe Illustrator thank you very much for joining us in this episode of learn graphic design with G2K designs whatever your question is please make sure that you put it right in the uh, comment section okay so that we can address it and then we can have um, a discussion around it interact okay if you also want us to talk about other specific areas in graphic design that you still don't really understand okay so you can also put it in the uh, comments section okay if you like this video don't forget to like comment share subscribe and don't forget to turn on your notification button so that when we drop our next videos you will be notified okay thank you very much till next time